Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program which implements linear search algorithm. So what exactly is this linear search algorithm? Let me explain. Let's say there is an array like this integer array like this having some integer elements. Now, if you want to search for a single element from this elements of this array, let's say you want to search for a single element 99 from this array. Then there are several ways guys. Okay. There are several ways to search this integer element from this integer array list of integer elements in this array. Right. But in this session, I'm going to use linear search algorithm. Okay. I'm going to use linear search algorithm for searching this element in this array. So how does this linear search algorithm work? So before I write a Java program implementing this linear search algorithm for searching this uh, element in the array, let me first explain the concept behind this linear search algorithm. How does linear search algorithm search for an element in this array? That's the main thing. So let's uh, convert this array into the diagrammatic format. So here, how many elements are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 11 are there. So let's uh, break this uh, into 11 boxes. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 11. Like this, some 11 boxes are there. So 55 will be there here. Then number 2, number 2, and then the next number 9 number nine, then three, then five, then seven, then 99, then 24, then 36, then 49, and finally 86. These are the different, all the elements in the array. And uh, this first element will be at which index? Zero. Second element, index one. In the array, guys, these elements will be stored like this, right? At this index, starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The fifth index, we have 7. Sixth index, 99. Seventh index, 24. Eighth index, uh, 36. Ninth index, 49. And uh, tenth index, 86. So according to the linear search algorithm, if you have to search for this uh, element 99, okay? Let's say you want to search for this element 99. In this array, you need to search for this element. Using the linear search algorithm, Okay, using the linear search algorithm, you need to search for this element in the array. For that, what we'll do is according to the linear search algorithm, we'll start with the first element. What is the first element? At the index zero, we'll compare the to be searched element with the index zero element. That is 55, 99, 55. Are they equal? No. So we'll, we'll move forward. Okay, if uh, if this 99 is not found in the first place, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll find, uh, we'll check whether it is in the second place. Okay, so in the index one, 2 is there. 2 is equal to 99? No. Then we'll go to the index 2. We'll check the index 2. 9. Like that, guys. Linear. Linear search. We'll start with the first element. If it is not uh, matching, then go to the second element. Not matching, third element. Like that. Okay? We have to keep moving forward. So here, 5 is not matching with 99. 5 is not matching with 99. So here, actually, okay. So here, 3, guys. Okay? So I just made a mistake. This is 3. So 52, 2, 9, 3, 5. Not matching, seven not matching. Then finally, when sixth index comes, now this 99 is matching with the value of the sixth index. These two are matching. That means you'll print in the output saying, give the search element is available at the index. What guys? At the index six in the array. This should be the output guys. So hope you understood the concept of linear search. I will start uh, searching linearly starting from the first element till we find the element, okay? Having that value, search value. So now let's write the Java program implementing this linear search algorithm. So here I'll first create the integer array. Integer array ARR is equal to this array, guys. Or uh, let me paste it. This is an integer array, guys. 55, 2, 9, 3, 5. These are the integer array elements. So now uh, we need to search for an integer or an element in this array, right? For that, I will take, in, take input from the user, guys. Okay. Whatever the element we need to search in this array, I will take that element as an input from the user. 
So for that, I'll create an object for the scanner class. Scanner scanner is equal to scanner new scanner. Like this, I'll create an object for the scanner class. The scanner class will allow you to intake inputs from the users. Okay, without creating the object for scanner class, you cannot intake inputs from the user. And this constructor cannot be empty. You need to provide system dot in inside the constructor to resolve the error. Done. Now, now we need to ask the user to enter any number that you want to search. Okay, enter any number for searching in the array. So you, this array may be looking small now, but if in case there are hundred elements in this array. You, uh, it will be very difficult for the user to find out at which index the uh, element is required element is available if you are for example if you are searching for some number uh, 25 or something and here 100 elements are there it will take some time right so we'll depend on this program to get the output in general guys in real time applications also if you think like uh, for example amazon or flipkart or any applications online e-commerce application suppose uh, you you want to purchase a book so will you Will you will you like uh, go with one by one book until you find the book, or uh, you'll simply search it? You'll simply search, guys. In the search box field, we'll search for the book name. Okay. Uh, when you search for the book name, automatically the applications will give you the uh, the requested search book in the results, and thereafter you'll easily find it. Here also same thing, guys. Suppose you want to find some element in this array. Okay. If there are good number of elements in this array, it will be very difficult, guys. If less numbers are there, it's easy to look and say where exactly my element is there. But if in case this array is very big, then the problem arrives where uh, your searching will take some time if you do it manually. So by using this program, it will make your job easy. This program will make your job easy. Anyhow, let's continue. This is an integer array. Here we are taking input from the user. And before taking the input, uh, we are asking the user to enter any number for searching the out in the array for searching in the array. Okay. So here, this particular text will, while running this uh, code, this particular text will be displayed in the output. By looking at this particular text in the output, user may try to give any input number like ninety nine. Okay. User may give input any number like ninety nine. This input given by the user, we need to intake into our program. For intaking the input into the program, we need to use this scanner object. And we have to say next int because why I'm taking next int command of the scanner class because I want to intake which type of input integer type of input next int will intake integer type of input okay so int and whatever the input taken by the uh, okay whatever the input uh, given by the user I intake into the program by this uh, next int command I want to store that into the number variable okay num variable so here whatever the you, uh, user given input is we stored into the number variable. So once you intake the required inputs from the user using the scanner object, we can simply close the scanner object. There is no need of scanner object. Simply close the scanner object as part of the best practices. Save that. Now let's write the logic for linear search algorithm. Algorithm which will allow us to search for the required element in the array. Okay. So for that we'll start. We'll create a for loop, guys. Uh, for int i is equal to zero. Why I'm saying i is equal to zero? Starting with the index zero, we'll start searching, right? We'll start searching for this number from the index zero onwards till the end of the array. We'll keep on continuing till the end of the array. So for int i is equal to zero, i less than or equal to i less than or equal to array dot length or i less than array dot length is also fine, right? I is equal to zero. I less than array dot length means array dot length will be like uh, ten. How much is array size? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Total eleven elements are there. I less than eleven means the last element will be at the index ten. So zero to ten will become eleven. So that's how we wrote the logic. I plus plus. So here for every iteration we'll check whether for every iteration we'll check whether this number is matching. With the array at the index i. In the first iteration, i will be zero, guys. At the AR of zero is this number will be matched with the first number, 55. So if the user gives 99, is 99 equal to 55? No. Right? So till the number matches, we'll continue this for loops. Here, if any really any number matches, okay, in any of the iteration, let's say in the sixth iteration, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, in the sixth iteration, 
this number 99 will match with the inputted number 99 so both will match at that time we'll print out here okay when i is 6 this will become true and here we'll print given number given number plus okay plus number is available at the index which index flex i i is the index value right of the array given number number this inputted number is available at the index i which index i is equal to 6 when i is equal to 6 this will true this will become true so at the index 6 of the array if the user inputs 99 it should print 6 of the array fine and after doing this after doing this uh, what we'll do is we'll simply break guys okay we'll come out of the for loop we'll simply come out of the for loop guys okay no need to continue searching this is enough okay once you find the required number in the array we'll come we'll come out of the we have to break the for loop let's not iterate unnecessarily the remaining iterations okay after you find the element no need to iterate so this is the best practice guys. i mean if you don't want to keep also it's fine it will continue the remaining iterations if you put break it will once it finds the element it will not perform any more for loop iterations that's one more thing and one more thing guys for example if the user has given a number like instead of 99 if the user give 25 is 25 available in this array anywhere there is no 25 in this array there is no 25 in this array so in that case if the given number is not available in the array then we should print out something to the user saying that given number 25 is not available in the array instead of printing the index we have to say the given number is not available in the array for doing so what we can do is uh, uh, for doing so what we can do is uh, here here i'll create a variable like int count is equal to zero initially i am setting the count to zero okay and here once you find once this match is done okay once this 99 is matching with the given inputted number right i will say count to plus plus i'll increment the count if, if the number is matching in the air if the number is found in the array that means count will be incremented from 0 to 1 or 2 or something okay so 0 to 1 something like that. it will not be 0 when you say count plus plus count will not be 0 so at the end of this for loop if count is still 0 if at the end of the for loop if the count is still 0 then we can print out saying that if the count is still zero means uh, nowhere the match is not there right the number given number is if, if you give 25 guys the 25 is not there in this array this for loop will iterate completely till the end of the array but uh, nowhere this uh, 25 will be there so this count will not be incremented count will be zero only that's why if you say count is equal to zero you can simply print out saying given number plus number okay this number is not available in the array okay like this we have to print out so like this guys we can write the logic for the linear search algorithm so so when you run this code let's see whether this uh, code is working or not let's run this code you see enter any number for searching in the array let's give the number as 99 let's give the number as 99 sorry uh, let me run it again Okay, let me run it again yeah let's give the number as 99 press enter given number 99 is available at the index which index 6 of the array at the 6 index of the array this 99 is available you see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 let's say let's give some other number let's say 9 this time let's give 9 so enter any number for searching in the array 9 given number 9 is available at the index 2 let's find it out 0 1 2 yes that's correct what if I give some number which is not available in the array? So let's give 131. Is 131 is available in the array? No. Enter. Given number 131 is not available in the array. Like this, guys, this program is working perfectly fine. So hope, guys, you understood how to write a Java program which implements linear search algorithm. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye.